My name is Annie Doucette, and I'm from Bogota First Nation. And we are in unceded Mi'kmaq territory. Uh, we're at Mount Allison University. Uh, in Sackville, New Brunswick, at the end of the Kairos Atlantic Gathering, Streams of Justice. The, the Kairos Conference that's been held for the last four days. Hi, I'm Jessica Divenborden. My name is Juan Papundo. My name is Emma Simone. My name is Ken Streich. Billy Lewis. My hopes for plan like when planning this event um, included the uh, the knowledge sharing that was going to take place, and uh, you know, bringing people together from you know different backgrounds, different ages, uh, to come together um, and and explore these these streams, uh, these streams of justice um, further um, together. The streams took us to places I could never have imagined even a week ago. Everyone here came with a passion and they showed their passion, whether it was women of courage, whether it was indigenous rights, whether it was one of the other streams such as ecological justice. For myself as a faith practitioner, um, but also as somebody who has an environmental science background, it's at Kairos gatherings where I often find that intersectionality um, between multiple issues that are going on at the same time and people who want to advocate for justice as a whole um, without being so siloed into one particular topic. It really stood out to me um, how much people connected with one another mm -hmm. and you know people from uh, within their own streams but you know they, they branched off and looked at um, looked at the other streams and, and talked with one another um, to connect how, the, to look at how the streams themselves are connected um, and how we as people are all connected. I met so many people, so many elders, so many uh, people from all over. It's amazing to have everybody come to this one space. I believe it's really important to make those connections and I think it's really important to have those grassroots movements and I believe that Kairos is an organization that supports those by giving them resources and, and uh, policy documents and information and uh, access to global partners and so Kairos really helps grassroots groups make those connections to the wider global movement. And there's more and more people getting involved and especially what was really special was when we went downtown on Friday and joined all the young people that were part of the, uh, I think it was called Fridays for the Future. And that, that's incredible how many young people are active now. They're more active than I was when I was young, young and silly. <laughs> we need more forums like this uh, in order for women and other people of color to be able to speak about what's going on uh, without judgment and without any type of um, repercussion of what they're saying. Uh, that I'm just so grateful for everybody that was here and every every opportunity I got to to learn something, to hear from the elders, to to meet people. Uh, we did writing workshops. That was something I haven't written in years, and it just lit a fire underneath me. I think I went back to my room and I wrote for the next couple of hours. I've been part of uh, Kairos groups and organizations uh, for the last two decades. And my hope and prayer is that it will continue to grow, continue to influence the direction of this country, and continue to make such an impact. I look forward to seeing the, the engagement of more youth and young people um, in our gatherings, as, as was seen at this gathering. Uh, Star and I have agreed to become part of the Kairos Committee for uh, the Bathurst region, as we really are trying hard to get all of these amazing movements into Bathurst. It doesn't matter where you are, coast to coast. This is our work, and I would encourage every Canadian to make it part of their life, uh, getting more informed and, and holding our government and our political uh, folks uh, to the task that's ahead. Contact people like us. Uh, there's lots of communities around that have Kairos people. Um, any other advocacy going around, we're all very welcoming to the cause. The more people we have, the no the more we're gonna get changed.